This is a training guide for the Gordon Flesh Company client portal. In this video, you will be shown the login procedure and how to navigate for functions such as meter read entry, ordering supplies, requesting service, and paying an invoice. Prior to accessing the portal for the first time, you will be sent a login, which will consist of your email address for the username and a default password, which you will be able to update to your own unique password. To log into the portal, you will go to the Gordon Flesh homepage at www.gflesch.com and select Client Portal at the top of the page. When you are on the login screen, you will enter your email address for the username and your password in the password field and click on Log In. When you are logged into the portal, you can update your password by clicking on Options in the upper right corner, choose Change Password, you will need to validate your current or default password. Type in a new password. Confirm your new password. And click on Save, top right of screen. We will now go over some of the tiles you will see when you are logged in to your portal account. To search for equipment in your account, you can use two different search methods. You can use the Find Equipment Item tile and search by Equipment ID Number. Click on the magnifying glass and it will bring up the equipment record. Another way to look for equipment in your account is to click directly on the number in the equipment item tile upper right of screen. This will bring up a complete list of the equipment at that location in alpha and numeric order. To see detailed information on a particular machine, click directly on the equipment ID number and the full equipment record will display. If the machine is on a service contract, the contract information along with a history of meter reads will be below the equipment information. Now that we have gone over how to bring up equipment records in your account, we will go over the process of ordering supplies or requesting service for your equipment through the client portal. To order supplies, go to the location account you would like to order the supplies for. Then click on order supplies at the top of the page. Click on the add items tab lower left of screen, then click on equipment. A box will populate with the equipment at that location. Click on the machine that you would like to order the supplies for, and a box will populate with all of the available supplies for that machine. The supplies with a dollar amount are what you would pay to order that supply as it is not included in your maintenance contract. The supplies with zero dollar amount are included in your maintenance contract. Type in the quantity needed for the supply and click on OK. A summary of your order will appear. If you have a purchase order number or any specific instructions for the supply order, you can type them in the boxes above. Once your order is complete, click on Save in the upper right corner. You will get a confirmation box populate in the upper left corner, including a confirmation number for your order. To request service on a machine, again go to the location account where the machine is located that you need the service on, and then choose Request Service at the top of the page. 
Next, click on the box in the Select Equipment Item line, and a box will populate with all of the machines at that location. Select the ID number that you need the service call placed on. Type in a brief description of the problem with the machine that you are requesting service on at the bottom of the page, then scroll up and click on Save. You will receive a confirmation number for the service call and the call will show as pending in our dispatch system. To submit a meter reading when the portal is showing that meters are due, click on the meters due line in the meters tile middle right of page. Click into the new reading box and submit the new meter read for the machine and click on OK. When you have entered all of the meters due, you can click on Submit and you'll receive a confirmation upper left of screen that your meter reads were successfully saved. To add a payment method to pay invoices through the client portal, click on the Payment Methods line in the Account Settings tile and next click on Add upper right of page. Select whether the payment method will be a credit card, checking account, or savings account. Fill in all of the required fields and click on Next. Fill in your credit card information or account information if you chose a checking or savings account and click on Process Transaction. You will receive confirmation that your transaction successfully processed, and then you can click on Return to Merchant. You will see in Payment Method Management that the card information you entered successfully saved, and you can now use this payment method to pay invoices through the portal. To pay an invoice, click on the Recent Invoices in the Invoice tile middle of the screen, select the invoice you would like to pay and check the pay box. Then click on the pay box that has the dollar amount showing. The Schedule New Payment page will appear. Check the Use Existing Payment Method box, then click on the box next to Method. Choose the existing saved payment method, and you will see that the last four numbers of the card will appear. Next, click on Submit, upper right of page. You will receive a confirmation number that your payment was processed, the amount the payment is for, and the date that you processed the payment. If you are an administrator to your portal account, you will have permissions to add users to the account. To add a user, click on the Switch Location tab if you have multiple locations. Choose the location that you would like to add the user to. Go to the Account Settings tile and click on the Users line. A list of all the current users in the account will appear. To add a user, click on the Add icon upper right of page. Fill in all contact and address information for the new user, then click on the linked box, which will allow you to give the user permissions within the portal. If the new user will be entering meter reads, ordering supplies, or requesting service, you can check the first four boxes for permissions. If you would like the user to have full permissions to the portal, check all of the boxes. Propagation to locations will allow the user to see all of your locations if your business has multiple addresses. Next, you will need to give the new user a password or default password, confirm that password, and then click on Save upper right of page. 
After saving the new user record, the user should appear in the list of users on the user management page. If you are in need of assistance with your Gordon Flesh client portal account, you can find contact information the bottom right of any screen within your portal account. You can click on the email link eInfoHelp at gflesh.com or you can call us at 800-773-3595. Thank you for your business with the Gordon Flesh Company. It is our great pleasure to provide our services to you.